Welcome to The Daily Calm. I'm Tamara Levitt, and today we'll explore the Sanskrit word, santosha. Start by finding a comfortable spot where you can settle in with a relaxed yet wakeful posture. Then, when you're ready, close your eyes. Allow the spine to be tall. Let your shoulders fall naturally, fully relaxing the body. And just tune in to how you're feeling now. Maybe the body is tired. Maybe it's full of energy. And however you feel is fine, you're simply noticing. And now come to the breath. Just following the breath as it comes in and out of your body. And you might notice the breaths beginning and ending. There's a start and a finish. Observe what happens when you inhale and sustain your attention. At the end of the inhale, there's an ending, a small gap or pause. And then the inhale transforms, becoming an exhale. Follow the exhale to its end and notice how the exhale changes back into an inhale. The breath is one of the most simple and clear examples of beginnings and endings. Over and over, follow the beginning of each breath through to its end. And you might notice emotions arising as you sit. Recognize them as they come up. Observe how fleeting they are and how they change, just like the breath, just like thoughts. It takes practice, but eventually you start to notice that no emotions are fixed. All eventually fade or change. 
Notice how each emotion that arises comes and goes or changes. As it appears to your mind, acknowledge it and release it gently and return to the breath. Observe the breath as it appears and disappears. Now relax the mind, relax the body. Today I'd like to talk about contentment and how difficult it can be to find it. It's easy to succumb to thoughts of inadequacy and lack. We can get fixated on thoughts like, I'll finally be okay when I reach my goal weight or get that better job or find that relationship. Once I have this, everything will be fine. The stories we tell ourselves about our lives suggest there's always something missing, some incomplete piece keeping us from happiness. It's natural to have goals. We all want to grow and evolve and challenge ourselves but it becomes unhealthy when we base our happiness on achieving some ever-elusive external goal. In Sanskrit, there's a beautiful word, santosha. San means completely or entirely, and tosha means acceptance or contentment. So together, santosha means complete contentment. Santosha captures the idea of finding satisfaction with who we are, right now. It doesn't mean that everything is dandy so we can sit back and do nothing. It simply means accepting and appreciating what we have and who we are already, and then moving forward from that foundation of contentment. It's the feeling of there being enough. So today, spend a moment reflecting on the narrative you tell yourself about your life. Is there something you've built up in your mind as the key to future happiness? A promotion? A relationship? A financial goal? When we rely on external factors as the key to happiness, we only perpetuate our discontentment. Once we buy that new house or lose that 20 pounds, there's always a new desire on the horizon. So to truly realize Santosha, we need to free ourselves from these attachments. As B. Grace Bullock said, once you shed your distorted lens and self-doubting beliefs, there's a good chance you'll discover that you're pretty awesome and that the light burning within you 
is a far more accurate reflection of who you are than the stories you've been telling yourself. That is when Santosha becomes possible. Perhaps take a moment now to feel into what Santosha might be like. What might it feel like to believe that you're beautiful enough or handsome enough, that you have enough, that through and through you are enough. Now taking one last deep breath, feel your feet where they touch the ground. Wiggle your fingers and toes. And when you're ready, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Calm. Have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.